What's up guys, this is Jared from Build Kit Boards and in today's video we're going to be installing the VX2 Pro Remote. To get started, you're going to need the VX2 itself, the tool kit, or in this case I'm going to be using a drill and wrench, a computer with a provided USB cable, and of course the BKB Duo. If you're not familiar with the BKB Duo, it is a high performance DIY electric skateboard kit that is easy to assemble, requires no programming or soldering, and all of the tools required for assembly are included in the kit. The great thing about the Duo is that everything is modular, so you can swap out all of the components like the remote. You can learn more by visiting the link in the description, but for now, let's get started with the install. The first step is to unbolt the enclosure and wire clips. Then you can flip the enclosure over to access the electronics. Next, unplug the Bluetooth module and then plug the USB cable into the left side of the ESC. Then, turn the board on. Open the VEST tool on your computer and connect to the ESC. If you get a pop-up that your firmware is too old or too new, you're using the wrong version of the VEST tool. Make sure you're using the one that we have provided. You're going to click the connect button up in the top right and you'll get this green bar that says you're connected to the board. Then you're going to click the M with the up arrow and the A with the up arrow. After that, you're going to go on the left hand side to general under app settings and you're going to change PPM and UART to UART. After that's set correctly, you're going to go to the right hand side and click the down arrow A. That is the only setting that you need to change, so then you can disconnect from the VEST tool and unplug the USB cable. After that, you're going to turn off the board and then plug in the VX2 receiver to the left side of the ESC. Then, reinstall the Bluetooth module to the UART port on the right hand side. That is all we need to do inside the enclosure, so you can flip it back over and reinstall it on the deck. Don't forget to add the wire clips and secure those as well. Now it's time to configure the settings on the remote. While you're doing this, it's always good practice to have the board upside down just to be safe. Turn the remote on. Press and hold the settings button to bring up the menu. Make sure that the battery cells are set at 10 and then press the settings button one more time to go to the next menu. You're then going to hold the settings button to change this setting. The option will then blink, and then you're going to use the thumb wheel to change this value to seven. Then once it's at seven, you're going to press the power button to lock in the setting. Then to go to the next setting, you're gonna press the setting button one more time, and you're gonna change this to either miles per hour or kilometers per hour, depending on your location. When that's done, press the settings button one more time, and you're gonna to need to change this from hub motor to pulley. So you're gonna hold the settings button, it will then start to flash, go down on the throttle, and it'll change to pulley. Then, press the power button to lock it in. Then you're going to press the setting button one more time to go to the next menu. And you're going to change the wheel diameter from 20 to 97, or whatever size wheel that you have currently. So it's blinking, and then we're just going to hold up on the throttle until it gets to 97 millimeters. Then when that's where I want it, I'm gonna press the power button to lock it in and press the menu button one more time. 
Then you're going to change the motor pulley value from 5 to 15. After that, you're going to change the wheel pulley value from 5 to 40. Then lock it in with a power button. You can then skip over the calibration menu and the pairing menu, as well as the ESC type as long as it is set to FSESC. That's it. You've just set up the remote so you can press the power button to return to the main menu. To use the remote, press the setting button to change between high, medium, and low speed modes. To go into reverse, hold the throttle back and press the setting button. Repeat this to return to the forward direction. That's it. You've just installed the VX2 Pro on the BKB Duo. Please consider subscribing as we have a bunch of other videos planned and check the links in the description to learn more about both of these products.